it's time to be there for your family. It's time to be there for your family. So social media is nothing, nowhere near close to, to my family's importance. Losing him was a big part of my life because he he was he actually texted me the day before he passed. Michael feels like he could conquer anything if he puts his mind to it. Me being 100% honest, I do not know where I'm going yet. The only stressful part is I hope to God I pray that I pick the right school. And I just told him that whatever he wants to do, that I'm just going to be there for him. I'm still a young kid and I'm obviously going to care about some people's words and their opinions of me. He's more elusive and probably quicker than I am. You know, genetically, I just felt like just destined for him to be, you know, be great. People would always ask me, like, Michael, where are you going? My teammates want to know where I'm going. They'll be like, Michael, what's the plan? Where are you going? Like, I'll tell my closest teammates, I might, like, I might go here. I like this here. Like, like that school about it. But for, like, me being 100% honest, I do not know where I'm going yet. When it comes down to the recruiting process, man, wherever he goes, wherever he selects, I'm going to become the biggest fan of that school for giving my son the, the opportunity. It's totally up to Mike and Ann, definitely. It is very stressful, but it is also like an honor to have all those options. I hope to God, I pray that I pick the right school. The one thing I'm telling him is, you wanna go for the program, but not the coaches, because coaches come and go. You just wanna make sure that you're happy, like outside of football, because sometimes like this is like so stressful. Maybe this coach is lying to me saying I'm going to get this play time, but then I show up and he doesn't give me that play time. And then he's like, oh, well, you're already here. So you have to deal with that. And then maybe you'll play your sophomore year. He told me plenty of times that he wants to play his freshman year. And Micah is that type of player that has the ability to play their freshman year. Definitely uh, appreciative to all the offers. Definitely going to keep my options open until late junior year or early senior year. I'll probably be committing. Football is definitely a family bloodline. My dad, big time, big time athlete. He won the Super Bowl in 2003, starting running back for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I played four years with the Cardinals. I played six years with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, won the Super Bowl there. And then my big brother, the, my basically my idol. You couldn't ask for a better person to look up to because he's at SC, he's in the first lineup. He's, he's, doing, he's doing great things. I like always knew that he like looked up to me, I mean, because I'm kind of where he wants to be. So. It's not even football related. He bought me my first razor to shave. So just little stuff like that. Like this is the best stuff to put in your hair. This is like, this shoe is too big for you. You look like goofy. Your socks are too long. Like just stuff like that. <laughs> We've always been close, but um, we shared a room. My dad wanted us to share a room even though we had enough rooms to not share. Get me roasting on my it's, brother. It's 209 to one. Not, he turned it no, off. No, no. Sorry, Mike, that I had to beat you I so bad. I didn't even have a controller. Yeah. Oh, boy, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, they're a little bit wilder now that they're older. But um, they always been pretty close. I definitely appreciate him being a big role model and a guy that I really look up to. His last game, his senior year, he got 357 receiving yards. That record was held for like 10 years of Oaks of like 300 something receiving yards. My brother breaks it. And then I broke it literally the next year. I beat him out by 23 yards. And I called him right away. I was like, Mike, I took your record. See, he seems to think that, but I have to review the uh, record books. You know, when Michael set the record, I was proud of him at that moment. And then Micah comes the following year and uh, breaks his brother record. And, and Micah told Michael, like, look, I'm going to break all your records. 
He's a big guy, I look up to him, uh, my idol, like I said, but he sets the goals, I'm gonna try to break them. I'm not gonna sit here and lie, I love the football attention. I'm not an attention type of guy, but when it comes to football related, I love it. Like, I love putting on my jersey, I love getting ready, I love seeing the big crowds, I love hearing the cheer, like, I love all of that. Social media is a big thing. Um, that's how colleges contact you. So that's the only reason I really have Twitter. I made a Twitter because my brother told me like that's how colleges contact you. Well, you need a Twitter because that's how you get most of your offers. So they'll like hit you up on Twitter and they'll be like, call me and then you call them and then they offer you or they want you to come take a visit and they can't call you. So basically like that's just a platform for coaches to contact you. Everything is so different. Talking to colleges over Twitter and, and you know social media, uh, we didn't have that. But I feel like social media benefits a lot of these talented you know kids that's, that are in high school. Micah is a very active, physical, fast, powerful, elusive guy, and he's more elusive and probably quicker than I am. My dad actually told me, out of all the Pittman, you're the most advanced one right now. You're like ahead of all of us and bigger than all of us. You know, genetically, I just felt like he would definitely be good at football. And when he was little, I'll probably say maybe about two years old, just put a football in his hand. And that's all he wanted to do. It's just fun to like go around, fly around and catch football, score a touchdown, hear the crowd cheering for you, have your family in the stands and everyone being so supportive of you. Losing him was a big part of my life because he actually texted me the day before he passed and he uh, said, I can't wait to see you play next year. It's crazy how, how life works. He was like one of the greatest dudes that like I knew. He was like so kind. It really hit home when that happened and I was like, wow, he texted me literally like not even 24 hours ago. And it was just like a, like a fluke, just out of nowhere. I actually dedicated my season this year for uh, my grandfather because I just thought it really hit home when he said, I can't wait to see you play first game. So I definitely dedicate this season to my grandfather that has passed away. <clears throat> He's like a really cool, really cool like grandfather. I wish uh, a lot of people got to know him. Friday Night Lights is nothing that you can describe as a feeling. All that work that you worked and sweat and almost threw up and all that stuff, I put in hours, days of work just for a game. It is gonna suck, my grandfather's not gonna be there anymore, but I'll do my best for him this year. He always would tell me, like, just work your tail off and have fun, kid. Offensively, put points on the board. Nope. Good. Distribute the ball, do your DO. Do not go down. Do not get tackled. They do not want to make this seven on seven. Okay? So with the ball's in your hands, do not get tackled. You catch the ball, go to the end zone. Don't go down.
Micah has goals that are just through the roof, and that's what it takes to succeed, you know, in life. My mentality is you can be the biggest man on the field. I'm still going to give you all I got. You can be 6'5", 300 pounds. I'm still going to hit you in your chin. If I have to play a little dirty to get open, I'm going to play a little dirty. So. I don't fear anybody on the field. I feel like that's my main part of my success. My dad taught me that. I'm definitely, I'm not gonna back down from anybody. No fear on the field is how, how I work. That's how Micah approaches the game. You know, he has high expectations for himself. He feels like he's unstoppable, you know, and he's capable of doing anything he wants when he puts his mind to it. I definitely don't shy away from competition. I love competition. Uh, he makes me better, I make him better. So that's my mindset. He just plays hard. I think he's the best high school player since me. Like, <laughs> When I get that one-on-one, -on -one, that's my eyes light up. You can be the greatest DB alive, and I'll be so happy to see you come up and try to press me and try to stop me from catching the ball. No help over the top is what I love seeing. So I'm looking at the quarterback like, you better throw me the ball.
on top. It can't it's stop. the best right here, baby. Definitely, I'm gonna have a little chip on my shoulder for um, my grandfather. To see loved watching me play, it hits home when you when you like really realize you won't be able to see him again. You won't be able to talk to him. You won't be able to like have that relationship with him. That's gonna be the chip on my shoulder this year. So if they see a different type of Micah this year. It's definitely because of him. Let's go, baby. 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 Friday Night Lights brings the family closer. Football brings the family closer for sure. We about to run it up. Definitely hit home when Fresno State offered me because my dad went there. So I told my dad uh, we can go visit there whenever he wants. I just want everyone to be proud of me, like my grandfather's. He would always ask me, when you make it to the NFL, can you uh, give me a signed ball? So if I make it, I'll leave a little signed ball on his grave. <laughs> 